Hey y'all, my name is Wendy Valencia and this week I accepted the 100 mile challenge put forth by Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life. So stick around, see how I did. But don't worry, I didn't hit 100 miles yet. I'm not that awesome. So as a lot of you already know, I struggle with my weight on a pretty much hourly basis. I'm constantly battling my weight. And I recently started trying to exercise more to, to help aid me in the weight loss process. And when I say recently, I mean about six months ago I started. Those are tears. I have to admit, I accepted this challenge kind of on a whim without really thinking about the consequences of my actions. And I also didn't realize that I would need to be doing weekly video uploads. Both of those things are good. So it's a good goal to have and I feel like accepting this has, is really gonna motivate me to be successful. So I'm kind of okay with the fact that I did this impulsively. You can expect my update every Friday at 7 a.m. So look forward to it and I'll tell you the good, the bad, and as always, the ugly. So this week was really not that great. After I accepted the challenge, I didn't really make any sort of plan. And if there's one thing about me, I always have to have a plan. If I don't have a plan, it doesn't get done. It's like if I don't write things down, they don't get done. Normally I wake up between four and 4.15 to get up and get my run in. But this week I wasn't feeling it a lot. And so between my job and being a mom, and the YouTube thing, something has to get sacrificed. There just aren't enough hours in the day. And for me, frequently, that's exercise. The last few weeks, I've been staying up late to work on YouTube stuff and not getting into bed until like 11.30. And 4.15 is just too early to get up if you're staying up until 11.30. So as a result, I really only got in about maybe half of what I normally would run. And there's some reasons we'll call them reasons slash excuses for that but they are what they are <gasps> look somebody put a swing over the creek how fun is that i may have to get on that swing one day you know what today is that day let me see how i get down here without breaking my butt how far in the challenge I actually got. Well, Monday, I ran 4.3 miles. Tuesday, I slept in. And Wednesday, oh, Wednesday. Wednesday was a disaster. So on Wednesday, I got up and begrudgingly went on my morning run. I didn't want to be out there. Didn't even want to think about it. But I knew I needed to, so I got out of bed and I did it. Normally when I do that, I after a few minutes I kind of get into it and it's not so bad. This was not one of those days. I the whole time I was running, I was just like, oh, I don't want to do this. I want to be back in bed. I'm so tired. Wham 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 for me, for me. So I got about a mile and a half in. And now you gotta keep in mind it's before 5 a.m. when I'm out running. So it was pitch black and there are no street lights where I run. So I run with a flashlight in one hand and a combat knife in the other. You know, it's kind of scary out there. You never know what you could run into. There could be somebody crazy out there. So I was running along and I made a spectacular fall. Face contact to the pavement. It was lovely. Fortunately, since I had the flashlight and knife in my hands, the vast majority of my fall was broken by those two metal objects, and so I didn't get that injured. The only real damage I had was my knee, and it just got scraped up and bruised. And it was only one knee, and it wasn't my bad knee, so that's a bonus. But needless to say, after that happened, I called Mauricio crying and yelling a lot of four-letter words, and I scrapped the rest of that run. So that day, I only got three miles in. Then on Thursday, I woke up late and I only ran three miles. And Friday, I slept in. 
So that makes a total of 10.3 miles for the week, which is good considering I could have slept in every day. But it's not what I usually run. I usually run four to five miles five days a week. Next week's goal, I'm going to hit 16 miles in a week. That'll allow me to sleep in one day and hit four miles four days a week. And since I put that out in cyberspace and I'm super type A, I'm gonna hit it because that's the kind of girl I am. If you're interested in doing Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life's Challenge, I'll put a link to her uh, challenge video down below. So feel free to go and sign up and join me in this fun little challenge. I think it'll be good for me. I think it'll be good for everybody. If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button down below and you'll be updated with my new videos as they come out twice weekly. And you'll get to see all the great videos I post while I'm in Columbia. So I hope to see you here. See ya.